In the United States, physicians may hold either the Doctor of Medicine degree MD or the Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine degree DO. MD and DO physicians complete similar residency programs in hospitals, can be licensed in all 50 states, and have rights and responsibilities common to physicians. Historically, MDs and DOs significantly differed in their approach to medical treatment. Allopathic medicine, practiced by MDs, was primarily based on scientific practices. In contrast, osteopathic medicine was founded in the mid-19th century on the premise of healing the body through osteopathic musculoskeletal manipulation. MD and DO schools can also be distinguished by a relative lack of scientific and clinical research at DO schools. The coursework at MD and DO schools is similar, with the most notable exception being that DO students are taught osteopathic manipulative medicine. <laughs> <laughs> Background While allopathic medicine has followed the development of society, osteopathic medicine is a more recent development. The first MD school in the United States opened in 1807 in New York. In 1845, the American Medical Association was formed, and standards were put into place, with a three-year program including lectures, dissection, and hospital experience. In 1892, frontier physician Andrew Taylor still founded the American School of Osteopathy in Kirksville, Mo as a protest against the present medical system. A.T. still believed that the conventional medical system lacked credible efficacy, was morally corrupt, and treated effects rather than causes of disease. Throughout the 1900s, DOS fought to gain practice rights and government recognition. The first state to pass such regulations allowing dose medical practice rights was California in 1901, the last was Nebraska in 1989. Up through the 1960s, osteopathic medicine was labeled a cult by the American Medical Association, and collaboration by physicians with osteopathic practitioners was considered to be unethical. The American Medical Association's current definition of a physician is an individual who has received a doctor of medicine or a doctor of osteopathic medicine degree or an equivalent degree following successful completion of a prescribed course of study from a school of medicine or osteopathic medicine in a 2005 editorial about mitigating the impending shortage of physicians in the United States, Jordan Cohen, M.D., then president of the Association of American Medical Colleges AAMC, stated, After more than a century of often bitterly contentious relationships between the osteopathic and allopathic medical professions, we now find ourselves living at a time when osteopathic and allopathic graduates are both sought after by many of the same residency programs, are in most instances both licensed by the same licensing boards, are both privileged by many of the same hospitals, and are found in appreciable numbers on the faculties of each other's medical schools. In the United States, MDs and DOS are fully licensed medical doctors and have full medical practice rights throughout the United States. An MD is accepted worldwide, while the DO degree is accepted in 44 countries abroad. Currently, less than 10% of U.S. physicians have a DO degree. A doctor of osteopathic medicine do is different than an osteopath. A do is a physician, while an osteopath is not. Topic: Demographics. 
Topic medical training of the 860,917 physicians actively practicing in the United States in 2015, 67.1% hold an MD degree granted in the U.S., 24.3% are international medical graduates, and 7.6% hold a due degree. The percentage of physicians that hold a due degree varies by specialty, with the greatest representation in family medicine, general practice 16.5% of general practitioners, physical medicine and rehabilitation 13.8%, and emergency medicine 11.2%. As of 2015, 9.0% of residents and fellows in medical training programs accredited by the Accreditation Council for Graduate Medical Education ACGME, which accredits all MD residency programs, hold a due degree. 65.1% of the 19,302 due graduates enrolled in postdoctoral training are in ACGME accredited programs, with the remainder in AOA programs. In 2020, the ACGME will take over the accreditation of all residency programs in the United States for both MDs and DOS. Topic: <trends>, Trends. There are significantly more MDs than DOS, though the number of DOS is increasing due to the relative ease of obtaining admission to a DO school relative to an MD school, and a number of new DO schools opening at a rate faster than MD schools, and an increase in applicants for medical schools as a whole. A 2012 survey of students applying to both USMD and DO schools found that 9% of applicants were admitted only to an MD school, 46% were admitted only to a DO school, 26% were admitted to both, and 19% were not admitted to any medical schools. Geographic location was the top reason given by both DO and MD students for choosing the school in which they enrolled. Of first-year medical students matriculating in 2016, 25.9% entered due medical programs and 74.1% entered MD programs. The Association of American Medical Colleges projects that from 2016 to 2021, first year due student enrollment will increase by 19.4% versus a 5.7% increase in MD students. Between 1980 and 2005, the annual number of new MDs remained stable at around 16,000. During the same period, the number of new dose increased by more than 200% from about 1,150 to about 2,800. The number of new MDs per 100,000 people fell from 7.5 to 5.6, while the number of new dose per 100,000 rose from 0.4 to 0.8. Topic. Geographic distribution The geographic distribution of MD and DO physicians is not uniform. As of 2012, the states with the greatest ratio of active physicians holding a DO degree versus active physicians holding an MD degree were Oklahoma 20.7% of physicians, Iowa, Michigan, Maine, and West Virginia. During that same year, the states with the greatest ratio of active physicians holding an MD degree versus a DO degree were Louisiana, Washington, D.C., Massachusetts, Maryland, and Connecticut. The states with the greatest per capita number of DO physicians are Maine, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Oklahoma, and Iowa. The states with the greatest per capita number of MD physicians are Washington, D.C., Massachusetts, Maryland, New York, and Connecticut. Doctors holding a DO degree are more likely to practice in rural areas. The sex and racial distribution of DOS and MDs are similar.
Topic: Research and scholarly work. In comparison to allopathic medicine, osteopathic medicine has been criticized for the relative lack of research and lesser emphasis on scientific inquiry at DO schools in comparison with MD schools. According to the Journal of the American Osteopathic Association, the inability to institutionalize research, particularly clinical research, at osteopathic institutions has, over the years, weakened the acculturation, socialization, and distinctive beliefs and practices of osteopathic students and graduates." Allopathic medical schools have applied for and received 800 times more funding for scientific and clinical research from the National Institutes of Health than osteopathic schools have. Osteopathic schools ranked last out of 17 types of educational institutions, including veterinary medicine, optometry, social work, and dentistry. In 2014, the Journal of the American Osteopathic Association stated that research from osteopathic schools amounted to fewer than 15 publications per year per school, and more than a quarter of these publications had never been cited. Clearly, scholarly contributions from osteopathic medical schools are unacceptably low in both quantity and quality. Topic. Cultural differences Topic. Patient interactions Several studies have investigated whether there is a difference in the approach to patients by MDs and DOS. A study of patient visits to general and family medicine physicians in the U.S., including 277 million visits to MDs and 65 million visits to DOS, found that there was no significant difference between DOS and MDs with regard to time spent with patients and preventive medicine services. The study of approximately 341 million healthcare visits found that there was no difference on the rate that doctors provided to patients diet or nutrition counseling, weight reduction counseling, exercise counseling, tobacco use or exposure counseling, and mental health or stress reduction counseling. Some authors describe subjective distinctions in patient interactions, but Avery Hurt writes, in actual practice, the variations between the two types of physicians are often so slight as to be unnoticeable to patients, and a day in the life of each can appear indistinguishable. But the differences are there, subtle but deep. Topic. Self-characterization and identification A study conducted during 1993–94 found significant differences in the attitudes of DOS and MDs. The study found that 40.1% of MD students and physicians described themselves as socio-emotionally oriented over technoscientific orientation. 63.8% of their DO counterparts self-identified as socio-emotional. One study of DOS attempted to investigate their perceptions of differences in philosophy and practice between themselves and their MD counterparts. 88% of the respondents had a self-identification as osteopathic medical physicians, while less than half felt their patients identified them as such. As the training of DOS and MDs becomes less distinct, some have expressed concern that the unique characteristics of osteopathic medicine will be lost. Others welcome the rapprochement and already consider modern medicine to be the type of medicine practiced by both. MD and DO type doctors. One persistent difference is the respective acceptance of the terms allopathic and osteopathic. DO medical schools and organizations all include the word osteopathic in their names, and such groups actively promote an osteopathic approach to medicine, while osteopathy 
was a term used by its founder at still in the 19th century to describe his new philosophy of medicine. Allopathic medicine was originally a derogatory term coined by Samuel Hahnemann to contrast the conventional medicine of his day with his alternative system of homeopathic medicine. Today, the term, allopathic physician, is used infrequently, usually in discussions relating to comparisons with osteopathic medicine or alternative medicine. Some authors argue that the terms, osteopathic, and «allopathic» should be dropped altogether, since their original meanings bear little relevance to the current practice of modern medicine. <laughs> <laughs> Medical education and training Medical <laughs> <laughs> schools <laughs> 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 The Liaison Committee on Medical Education LCME accredits the 144 U.S. medical schools that award the MD degree, while the American Osteopathic Association AOA's Commission on Osteopathic College Accreditation COCA accredits the 34 osteopathic medical schools that award the DO degree. Osteopathic schools tend to be affiliated with smaller universities, Michigan State University, Rowan University, and Nova Southeastern University offer both MD and DO accredited programs. In 2009, Kansas City University proposed starting a dual MD, DO program in addition to the existing DO program, and the University of North Texas explored the possibility of starting an MD program that would be offered alongside the DO program. Both proposals were met with controversy. Proponents argued that adding an MD program would lead to the creation of more local residency programs and improve the university's ability to acquire research funding and state funding, while opponents wanted to protect the discipline of osteopathy. 61% of graduating seniors at osteopathic medical schools evaluated that over half of their required in hospital training was delivered by MD physicians. Overall, osteopathic medical schools have more modest research programs compared to MD schools, and fewer DO schools are part of universities that own a hospital. Osteopathic medical schools tend to have a stronger focus on primary care medicine than MD schools. DO schools have developed various strategies to encourage their graduates to pursue primary care, such as offering accelerated three-year programs for primary care, focusing clinical education in community health centers, and selecting rural or underserved urban areas for the location of new campuses. Topic osteopathic manipulative medicine Many authors note the most obvious difference between the curricula of DO and MD schools as osteopathic manipulative medicine OMM, a form of hands-on care used to diagnose, treat and prevent illness or injury and is taught only at DO schools. As of 2006, the average osteopathic medical student spent almost eight weeks on clerkships for OMM during their third and fourth years. The National Institute of Health's National Center for Complementary and Integrative Health states that overall, studies have shown that spinal manipulation can provide mild to moderate relief from low back pain and appears to be as effective as conventional medical treatments. In 2007 guidelines, the American College of Physicians and the American Pain Society include spinal manipulation as one of several treatment options for practitioners to consider using when pain does not improve with self-care. Spinal manipulation is generally a safe treatment for low back pain. Serious complications are very rare. A 2001 survey of DOSE found that more than 50% of the respondents used OMT osteopathic manipulative treatment on less than 5% of their patients. 
The survey was the latest indication that DOS have become more like MD physicians in all respects, fewer perform OMT, more prescribe drugs, and many perform surgery as a first option. One area which has been implicated, but not been formally studied regarding the decline in OMT usage among DOS in practice, is the role of reimbursement changes. Only in the last several years could a do charge for both an office visit evaluation and management services and use a procedure CPT code when performing OMT, previously, it was bundled. <laughs> <laughs> Student aptitude indicators There is a statistical difference in average GPA and MCAT scores of those who matriculate at DO schools versus those who matriculate at MD schools. In 2016, the average MCAT and GPA for students entering U.S.-based MD programs were 508.7 and 3.70, respectively, and 502.2 and 3.54 for DO matriculants. Do medical schools are more likely to accept non-traditional students who are older, coming to medicine as a second career, etc. MD students take United States Medical Licensing Examination (USMLE)s series of three licensing exams during and after medical school. Do students are required to take the Comprehensive Osteopathic Medical Licensure Examination Comlex USA that is administered by the National Board of Osteopathic Medical Examiners NBOME. This exam is a prerequisite for do associated residency programs, which are available in almost every specialty of medicine and surgery. DO medical students may also choose to sit for the USMLE if they wish to take an MD residency and about 48% take USMLE Step 1. However, if they have taken Comlex, it may or may not be needed, depending on the individual institution's program requirements. Residency. Currently, the ACGME accredits all MD residency programs, while the American Osteopathic Association AOA accredits all DO residency programs. DO students may choose to apply to ACGME accredited residency programs through the National Resident Matching Program NRMP, rather than completing a DO residency. As of 2014, 54% of DOS in postdoctoral training are enrolled in an ACGME accredited residency program and 46% are enrolled in an AOA accredited residency program. Since 1985, a single residency training program can be dual accredited by both the ACGME and the AOA. The number of duly accredited programs increased from 11% of all AOA-approved residencies in 2006 to 14% in 2008, and then to 22% in 2010. In 2001, the AOA adopted a provision making it possible for a DO resident in any MD program to apply for osteopathic approval of their training. The topic of dual accreditation is controversial. Opponents claim that by merging DO students into the 1500th world, the unique quality of osteopathic philosophy will be lost. Supporters claim the programs are popular because of the higher prestige and higher resident reimbursement salaries associated with MD programs. Over five years starting in July 2015, the AOA, AACOM, and the ACGME will create a single, unified accreditation system for graduate medical education programs in the United States. This will ensure that all physicians trained in the U.S. will have the same graduate medical education accreditation, and as of June 30, 2020, the AOA will cease its accreditation functions. There are notable differences in the specialty choices of DOS and MDs. 
60% of DOS work in primary care specialties, compared to 35% of MDs. <laughs> Steps to licensure Topic. Continuing medical education To maintain a professional license to practice medicine, U.S. physicians are required to complete ongoing additional training, known as Continuing Medical Education CME. CME requirements differ from state to state and between the American Osteopathic Medical Association and the American Medical Association governing bodies. <laughs> Professional opportunities An MD is accepted worldwide, while the DO degree is accepted in 44 countries abroad. Accredited DO and MD medical schools are both included in the World Health Organization's World Directory of Medical Schools. MDs and DOS are both accepted by international medical organizations such as Doctors Without Borders. Topic. See also Physicians in the United States <laughs>